today we will see how we can uh, call SES from lambda function so right now I'm in AWS portal so in the, pre in the part one we have seen how to create and verify identities so for example uh, in SES we need to verify the email address so in the previous part one uh, video I have shown how to verify this one so you could see this this is my email ID and I verified this one so now we'll see how we can trigger uh, email from the lambda function I mean we are going to call this SES for sending an email to the recipients so in order to call this lab call call the SES from lambda we're going to use the boto3 function boto3 library here so we could see this uh, documentation in the uh, we could see this uh, SES uh, uh, the boto3 documentation for this client uh, SES uh, uh, how we can call this SES client so in that we have to import boto3 in the library then you have to uh, uh, create this uh, uh, client client boto3.client of the SES in that we have different uh, in this class we have different uh, functions we have and for for this we're gonna use this send email function we're gonna call this method and if I click on this one so you could see the uh, 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 you could see the main documentation of this send email method and if you go to the bottom you will find this uh, uh, find the sample uh, uh, code here so I'm going to use the same sample code to run uh, to trigger this uh, CS from lambda function so I'm copy this code let me go into uh, the lambda function right now I'm in lambda service so I'm going to click on create function so I'm going to give a function name here send email then my runtime I'm going to use python here python 3.10 architecture is the default one x86 64 click on create function So if you here you have the default code here. So what we're gonna do here is like we're gonna call we're gonna use this boto3 function, boto3 library here to call the CS client. So if you go to documentation, you can find this one. So first thing you need is you need to import boto3. So I'm gonna import boto3 in my uh, code and also I'm gonna create this client here. Client equal boto3 dot CS. Client. and next uh, we're going to use this client uh, uh, this class as uh, dot client so here like uh, there are different methods we have here so in this we're going to use uh, send email method send email so the send email is used to send emails to the recipients and if you go down we'll have this uh, examples given here I'm going to use the same example. I'm going to modify this one. So I'm just copying this code here. And I'm going to paste this in my, uh, in my Lambda handler here. So just paste it here, everything. So here, uh, we need to give a valid email address. So I'm just going to keep only the two address here. So here, I'm going to give only the email system which I have verified in the part one video. I'm going to remove the other part here. The remaining message body, if you want to change, you can change it, change here. I'm just going to keep the same asset to whatever it is, I just keep the same thing here. And here, uh, subject test email and to address reply to all the remove all these things here 
and here I'm going to give the sources the same email which I verified and I'm going to remove the stuff here yeah no. deploy this one and I click on test it is showing the access denied when calling the send email operations because for this execution role we did not give access to a CS for the lambda function so if you go to the top you will find the configurations you on the configurations you will find So in the configuration you could find permissions like this is the role name just click on this role so we need to provide access this, this is a lambda role for for this we need to provide SES access so here so this is a lambda role uh, so if you see here this is the roles created like this is the role assigned to here execution role name so in the for this role name we have to provide a uh, SES access so for that uh, you have to you click uh, you have to give add permissions click on attach policies you need to attach this SES so uh, type SES and search we will find SES full access I will give full access to this one add permissions Uh, you could see policy was successfully attached to the role. So now, if you run this, run this lambda now. Is this one? Now you see the status code is hundred. Uh, the body is hello from lambda. So now let's check my Gmail and see whether we have received an email email from the lambda function. I'm in my email like my gmail and you could see our email got arrived here test email and you could uh, you could see this this message body content html formatting it can uh, for example content links like this one like this so that's what you could see in this uh, here also you could see message body content html formatting it can for, for example content link like this that's what you could see there and here if I want to change this printing file, just change it to printing from lambda here printing from lambda and if you want to give some different subject I want to change subject here just email from lambda lambda I'm gonna test this out I'll deploy this one and test so you could see printing from lambda the output set is 200 here and if I go to the email let's check now you could see I got new email test email from lambda and you could see like the same uh, the same body which is there in the lambda function so in this way we can uh, send an email from lambda function uh, by calling SES uh, client uh, now let's see if we send an email to an unverified email address for example here I'm giving some email address here um, some xyz xyz so this email is not verified I'm going to try to send email to this unverified email and let's see what's going to happen here I'm going to deploy this one I'm going to test this one now we get error message saying that message is rejected when calling the send email operations email address is not verified so that's the reason we need to verify the email address first then only we can send the email we can use SES service to send the emails so so same thing here like to address if I same thing if I do it in the 
source also for example if i change here only in the source part if i change something with different email address x y z something x y something like that and let me test again the same thing so now i'm gonna do a test now so again you're saying like email address is not verified so so for example when you want to use this uh, ses service we want the email address for the domain to be verified then only you can use uh, this yes uh, service deploy now and do a test now let's see the email again here where is where it went wrong gmail.com everything else looks fine for me looks fine uh, deploy test see now it is sent successfully if you go to my email I could see a new email at new, you got the email here so in this way you can use lambda function to call a CS service to send a central email to the users. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.